A very good morning to all of you. मैं मैं क्लास के बाद आऊँगी. A very good morning to all of you. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Very good morning. I'm very sorry. Let it it's uh, for the bad. Yes, you are audible, ma'am. Yeah, thank good you. Good morning. Very good morning. Actually, good this morning, is a ma very good morning to all of you. Actually, this is our first class for the batch number one and batch number two, right? We are going to be start with C and Python, but still for, uh, for the video, I'm getting late. I I very I'm just saying very big sorry. Within within one minute or two minute, I'll just start. I let start with your course material, right? For the meanwhile, can you please open your camera for the first attempt? and this because we are already getting late thank you thank you sabse pehli baar mil rahi hu main yes all right Yes, thirty-six students are there. Give me a minute. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Manisha, uh, Prajwal, Anil. Uh, I'm not able to see you. Rajeshri, Anjali, please open the camera now. This is the post attendance from our side. Okay, if you want, you can switch off your camera now. The post attendance is uh, is done. Now, guys, this is the time we are just start our topic. That is NCS two zero one. It's a C and Python programming. So, do we have any idea about programming? please unmute uh, it's a it's a very brief introduction to all of you can you no ma'am no the same the same answer i'm expecting all right okay so let's begin with our course material first i'm going to be you know start with our blog and you know uh, how many sessions we have uh To the IGNU's, uh, according to the IGNU curriculum, we have totally six sessions for our theory aspect of this subject, right? So this is our first one. So we start with the concept of C language. So do we aware any kind of language? Like what we see, what type of task we are performing, what is like language? Do we have any? Otherwise, I'll just start with a scratch. Ma'am, please start with a scratch. Okay. All right. All right. See, uh, when we are talking about our language, it means I am just uh, asking you something, and you people are understand my word, right? It means your language aspect and my language aspects are same. so you you can receive my words and on the same uh, process you are in a position to share me the answer right so it means one communication is going on but still as a user when we communicate with a particular machine or a electronic device it reproduce a output in terms of two particular things two particular process only that process is known as signals so on the basis of signal a computer can understand only two particular uh, generated two particular signals at a time that is uh, it's a, a it's a digital so analog signal is again the combination of zeros and ones and one means it is uh, you know it's a digital one it is again the combination of zero and one so computer can understand only two state one is for the input 
and second one is for the output it means it is a combination of 0 1 it is a combination of true and false value any doubt any query till here no ma'am all right all right see so uh, we have particularly like four uh, blocks block number one block number two uh, it's i'm just showing you the blog post then definitely we'll go through some ppts so block number one having four particular units as per as scheduled classes or counseling classes shared by the igno itself so i'm just going to be share my screen first So now this is the time I have to be share the screen with you all. See, as per our igno. These are the uh, total strength of our block. I can just share my screen. This is our block number one. So programming in C and Python. First of all, within two blocks, we have to be aware of a particular language that is like procedural one. And that language is known as in C. Vicky Dennis is invented this language. And we can say it is known as a procedural language. And if we are talking about the, you know, it's an approach one, it is totally based on talk to both of approach, right? In the block number one, we have thoroughly learned about as per our predefined course that is programming fundamental. The, in the unit number two, we are going to be covered the data type operators and expressions. In the unit number three, we are just uh, look away for the decisions on loop control statement and the fourth block is going to be describe us like what is array and what are the concept of strings block number two as usual as for our screen over here we just go by the functions structures and union pointers and file handling and the block number two uh, mentioned or the course title is function structure pointers and file handling in c language the block number three, we are going to be start with the Python language. And we know Gideon and Rosam is invented this Python board. As for the block number three is concerned, we are just learned unit number nine to unit number 12. It's an introduction to Python, data structure and control structure in Python, functions and file handling in the Python, and same the modules and packages. The last block is very important as per our Python collection or the first thing we are covered in unit number 13 is it's an oops it means classes in python then 14 uh, 14 unit we are going to be covered like exception handling it's a very good topic so exception if you are doing any uh, you know any kind of mistake then or or we can write the abnormal program abnormal condition we are generated as a user then exception handling uh, must we identify as what type of problem, what type of exception we are doing, and Python advanced concept like NumPy, PyPlot, uh, Matplot, uh, it's uh, Pandas, and data frames, right? And the last unit is again, it's a very important unit because we have to be aware of two particular platform on this, or moreover on this uh, unit that is data access. It means the whole concept is depend on SQL. So we write GDL, GML, and DCL things. And apart from the language, we are uh, we are just uh, learned like how Python is going to be uh, using or uh, means access data with data access, uh, uh, with SQL, right? So uh, as a first class, we just start with a particular unit that is it's a unit number one. And in the unit number one, we are going to be uh, in the unit number one, the programming and fundamentals. So this is all about our units. 
see a uh, first thing is like what is problem solving see as a user we think about like we are just uh, you know uh, have a look about our uh, program but a program is a set of or collection of data set of statement are known as program but in computers mathology we can uh, think about like we are just controlling a problem right so uh, we have an a problem it means we have an a set of instruction through that instruction we just write a serial code and uh, get a specific output on our console and the second thing is like what is algorithm a predefined set or set of you know steps implement one by one and one problem is converted into the solution give a specific approach that is known as an algorithm and this is known as an you know top to down down uh, step by step implementation and we are achieving our goal so in the maximum uh, minimum of the line statement maximum or optimal solution we are finding right and the next one is a flow chart uh, we are just selecting some kind of specific symbols to make our flow chart like rectangle like dagger it's a, a diamond box or a connectors right so that kind of things we are just uh, learned here so program and programming languages program is what one particular you know set of instruction give a specific output is known as a program and what are the programming languages like uh, low level language like ada cobol pascal fortran c right and if you are talking about like uh, uh, oops based language so we are have in our mind uh, we have in a good word in our mind that is c++ it's a wf dubai it's an uh, bijan startup and uh, moreover we are talking about the high level languages the names are the specific high level names are like it's in java it's a dot net it's a android and it's a python right later on we can maintain like ai languages like sometimes uh, we are asking the concept of machine learning deep learning iot's and moreover like it's an uh, etc right then structured programming concept we are just start with the c language it is known as a history of language and the silent features of c and writing a simple program and one word is written over here it's it's a c compiler it's a python compiler so we just aware of two things one is known as interpreter another one is known as compiler so interpreter means line by line word by word we can check everything like it's a case sensitiveness it's a syntax oriented we are giving a proper space and not right and the compilation means the whole bunch or the whole block haven't any problem now my particular uh, um, set of instruction or program is going to be execute right so compilation means uh, near about to my uh, output and like interpreter means uh, we have to be scan it out like as a user is we do any mistake as a user uh, we are writing our code in a good and a systematic manner so run and linking error see uh, nowadays we are just uh, go through two particular thing one is known as a uh, interpreter the another one thing is known as a compiler but the strategy but the steps are start with the terms of yak the meaning of yak is yet another compiler compilation right so uh, we have to be like assemble we have to be like down, uh, loading right then we have to be you know uh check the process then interpreter and then compiler so there are five particular stages are in front of us those who can internally support us to make a uh, to uh, to you know uh, to get a proper solution of a, a specific you know it's a problem is converted into the output right so this is all about a unit number 1 and uh, see they are some kind of problem anticipation careful planning proper thoughts logical precision problem analysis persistence and attention so these are a course material i'll request you guys if you are attending your session kindly read your course material first i know it's a very basic thing and 99.9% uh, students are 
aware of this right so these are the algorithm now i am just start the concept with the help of our ppts so this is our first one so kindly uh, uh, just read the instruction and give me one minute only i'll start Give me a minute, please, and please read these PPTs. Within one minute, I can start the thing again. Okay, ma'am. See. Now uh, I'm just sharing my screen again. See, and now uh, now on both I am not able to see you all. You do one thing, it's a request. You just noted down the point. If you have a you know a point which we have to be discussed so let us finish the topic from my side you can note it down the points after when i am finishing my uh, uh, you know ppt or like uh, pdf then you just start your discussion and we solve uh, the same uh, right so this is what this is our algorithm any of the programming if you want to write something so the first thing is we write our algorithm for it means we have a complete strategy this is our computer right as a user we are behaving like in this one it is a uml diagram suppose that this is our keyboard and this one our cpus right so a user can give a proper input our input is maintained by our cpu cpu is what it's a central processing unit in the CPU, we have three kinds of frame. One is like arithmetical, second one is a memory, third one is a control unit. So CPU can read our instruction in terms of zeros and one, right? And if one output is uh, maintained, so this is treated as a control window or a terminal, we can able to see our result. So three particular things are going on. One is like input, and another thing is like process and output is come on our control so the first step is we have to be step by step implement our procedure right to find out a particular solution of a problem so the next thing is algorithm it is an efficient method and we express each one of the thing in a finite set of well-defined instruction means each one of the uh, statement is well written and directly connect to each other and the and the next line is what uh, algorithms are language independent according to the language we just write languages are i already asked you like it's a procedure it's a object okay all right have you taken it okay thank you tell me about it. okay all the best for that so I'm sorry for the, you know, I'm very, very jammed up as I feel. I'm very class like every minute. I feel very shocked. Actually, I'm very happy. 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 So, I'm very happy. 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 i am See, so we can implement in any of the language. Now the next point is some of the characteristics are there. These are some steps like well-defined input. We get a well-defined output. There is a finiteness uh, in, in them because all these steps are, uh, you know, directly connect each other. So a finiteness is there and the concept is clear and unambiguous. We write our algorithm. Uh, we write 
our uh, algorithm in a in a systematic order maybe the steps are very easy right because we know as a user we start our uh, uh, program written or we start our strategy so we are at the beginner level right when our level is little bit high we are jumping into the you know intermediate level when again we are controlling the concept of uh, the uh, programming then we have to be uh, move up to the professional or arts and uh, expert level right so the concept is come to the point is very clear and it is unambiguous means no error is there so each step or every algorithm must be clear in all the aspect and must lead only in one way now these are the steps suppose that they are just showing a example and in unit number 1 we have the same example over there they want to write an algorithm to add to number and display the result right so they declare the first thing is the start and end this procedure if we start the procedure then definitely we have to be close it out the step number 2 we always store some value so value storing we have to be declare the variable because someone is asking me someone is calling me nita please listen and i am i am calling you uh, student please listen so i am you know aware of your name that's why i call you in a programming we have to be need there is a need to declare the variable and the data type first right so we declare three variable the variable name could be anything it depends on the user agency is there and then we assign a value value assignment variables are known as a and b and when we perform an operation we add two value we just want to print our value again the procedure is going to be stopped now i'm just clearing a concept there a is known as a variable b is again known as a variable and third is what it's a c so when we store our value the whole value is going and store in a container that container is known as a stack right and stack having only one and the top only top plus one it means we want to insert some value we have to be push some value and store it right top minus one it means we want to you know uh, delete some value or pop some value we want to find out our answer so the first variable we declare here it's a a so computer always start with the indexing that is zero by default right and the second variable is b we just store our variable and like my cursor pointer is one the index pointer is b right so a and b is performing because we want to add to value so this particular operator is known as this is our operator and the whole value we want to store in c although a to z are having the same precedences but a and b is totally depend on this operator whereas c is having a particular result so when we just you know top key position 2 and then we have to be reflect our value so c is going to be depict a particular output in c we are making a program at the same time in python we are just making a program at the same class today's itself and you just judge like how many time we are maintaining to prepare our c program as well as the python program right so now can we understand this algorithm can we move next slide say yes or no yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Now this uh, next slide is going to be uh, show the thing as a flow chart. It means the next step is the algorithm development. We have to be prepare some flow. Flow means step by step, and chart means the graphical representation. So anyone is able to understand like what type of program we are making. If the person is having the computer knowledge, or if the person don't have the computer language so we are just show we are in a position to show our data in a graphical representation for that one we are just using some specific symbol right in our algorithm approach 
so it is used in the programming in uh, to uh, prepare a diagram and what type of you know process we obtain here and get a desired result now different kind of samples we are using i am just uh, including one line like visio rational rows draw io are the specific output uh, or the free and open source softwares from these software you can easily prepare your project now in the meanwhile I, I, we can just go by the same also some specific symbols we are using these are the specific symbols start and stop we just using our shape input and output we just are wrong uh, image this is our uh, you know um, decision making is some um, diamond box the process we are just using a rectangle flow direction of the flow these, these are the arrow sometimes we use this line it means to to from form to to and this is says keep to to from the yoga right and these are known as a connector now this is an example as for this slide we just make our algorithm first we are just using a star we are just maintaining the end now first thing is we have to be declare our variable we are storing some value we are assigning these are known as an operation they perform an operation it's a complete binary and this is known as a like having some value with the help of print we can just get a specific output on our window so coding means uh, we have to be write our pseudo code first we have to be uh, maintain our flow chart and then we are in a position to write our code so uh, coding uh, writing is in uh, two types is mentioning here one is low level and another one is it's a high level so low level is uh, flow chart is you know coding is the procedure of the instruction and the programming language can be divided into two parts so low level is again as a, uh, some machine oriented so we can say we just contain the instruction and the instructions are recognized by a computer or an electronic device so from a computer instruction set architecture command or function in a language that goes into the processor so if we just write a thing one ic is generated i can just make a simple graph uh you put a line here over see this is our signal generation so oscillating is generating one is like switch and socket right so positive and negative signals are there we are just making our analog signal like this and we are just making our signal as a digital one is a scale box so if the rising is high right this is half of the oscillating and if we are just asking leading so one particular oscillating is generated by this this is half of the circle so zeros and this one is one same here so if i'm just putting this half of the signal so my particular signal is look like this one, right i we can just go through this is our 90 degree this is our 180 270 and 360 on 360 degrees of oscillations are going on it means one ic is converted into the output right so that kind of coding we are maintaining while we are talking about the computer's architecture So these are some specific language. We are just known as a low language name is a assembly language, and uh, it's a uh, some mnemonics are there like capital letter A. If you are talking about it having a specific value, it is sixty five. If you are talking about like B, it is having the value is in sixty six, right? So these are some mnemonic values. Some special symbols are there. So every machine provide a different set of numbers uh, to be used for that machine. Only depending upon the processor, and we are just using our, our system or a machine. So high level language is a program or problem oriented language. So uh, the problem is very concise because each and everything is depend on processor or method. So uh, it's a precise and an ambiguous manner. So very high level languages we already discussed when we start our class. So. some of the languages name they also mention here in a ppt that is for train basics for bol and all right and the compilation and execution see 
each one of the language have their own compiler and own uh, interpreter so if you are talking about like c language so turbo c bold and c and uh, v it's a vs code is also uh, there so conversion of high level uh, language program into the low level language program is done by the software so software is taking a vital role it is like combination c i'm just making a uh, another image i can uh, you know make a image so this is suppose that your software and these are the support of our hardware and the intermediate of this one it is known as an os so through the os we can just you know uh, connect our whole thing uh, and make our uh, program so the object program is execution by the calculated way so various stages and phases we are converted in terms of data so before like 8 to uh, 7 to 8 years we have a good definition like what is data we already aware like data is known as raw text and figure now with this language of python now with the origin of you know ai that is uh, allen tuning is in, uh, introduced in 1940 but now what is everything is maintained by the sensors and having some security so data definition will be changed data could be structured data could be unstructured data could be semi structured later on when the concepts are coming we deeply go to it so most of all we write our source code we have to restore our data in our computer then computer to computer we can generate our object code then research and data if is required so debugging means if we are doing any error see error means abnormal condition abnormal Uh, writing of the code is generating a particular bugs it is known as an error sometimes we are asking like it's some uh, arithmetic error or divisible by zero error um, array index out of bound error these are some name of the errors right and testing means uh, testing it's a like process to verify and validation so these three concepts are there verify karna hai validate karna hai to give us specific output so an initialization uh, reversing of order confusion of number and uh, inverting the condition right so a documentation means when uh, we have an uh, you know uh, write our code so definitely prepare a documentation if uh, we save our program then with a specific extension uh, we uh, get our code in terms of documentation so some of the error which might occur in a program it include like uninitialization reversing confusion and all right so this is all about our unit number 1 now i am just stop my ppts now guys do you have any uh, any confusion any problem anything want to share with me kindly unmute and ask your question otherwise we move to the next unit no question from my side ma'am oh all right all right akhil says good morning mahesh says good morning okay yeah it's in chandra i got your uh, i got your uh, message no question from so far ma'am okay all right Shall I move to unit number two? Shall I move to unit number two? Yes, ma'am. Sure. All right. All right. Before, all right. All right. Before going to be move to the unit number two, I'll just uh, give you uh, one particular thing. Like this is a software. It's a draw I O. Someone is asking something. Akhil, ma'am, can you share that PPT? Yes, Akhil. The PPT is already available. in this site i can show you you can easily uh, download even though read the whole course material when you all are register on this site the site is cftedu.in kindly register yourself i can show you the uh, image uh, i can show you like whole data it's in terms of AI two zero one, AI one zero three, AI two zero one two zero four. Each one of these C line data 
as Ma'am, you are not audible. My mic is mute. Now I am audible. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right. See, my screen is shared. I am just sharing my screen first. Actually, I am moving to. I uh, can't hear you, ma'am. Mahesh, am I audible now? Am I audible, Mahesh? Akhil says yes. Mahesh. Yes, all right. All right. See. My screen is again shared with you all. See, uh, this is um, just open and see like how to use this data and how to, uh, you know, uh, we are already shared this data for our students. I'm opening my server. Give me a second only. I can show you. Please share the link on the chat. Yeah, I can share the link as well. After giving uh, this demonstration, like how to move, I can share the link. First of all, you all are requested to uh, register yourself. After registration, the whole data in terms of these ones. See, I can show you it's a AI103. You can get a module one data. If you see, I'm just opening. There are three types of uh, things are uploaded on the site. One is the PDF format is available. The another one is in terms of ebook, the data is available. And the major one is the uh, videos, right? So you can just get the whole data in terms of these. See, the PPT, which I am just go through it. You learn this PPT from my side. The whole PPTs are uploaded on a site that is cftedu.in. So one is in PDF. Suppose that we are not able to read through our PPT, then these ebooks are available. And major one is if we have to be, you know. Right? So these are three things which is available over there. Now I can show you like how you people are register yourself. I am requesting you kindly register yourself in cftedu.n. I can just share this link in uh, my, um, kindly get this link. I am just sharing this link in a chat window and see. These are the registration when you click on this registration button. So uh, again, I'm just taking two minutes. See, very little uh, instruction they want. They want your uh, name. They want your running contact number and your email ID, right? This is your register ID. You have to be asked like, I am not a robot and you submit your value. After that, the registered ID having a uh, username and password, they are sending you the credential, right? Through that uh, credential, the second time when you move, you directly log in yourself, right? So these specific course materials are already uploaded there. I'll request you kindly do it uh, as today's itself and you thoroughly get this uh, whole uh, content uh, or data, right? And IGNU PDFs are already available on eGyan Kosh, right? We move to the eGyan Kosh page, and 201 uh, data is available over there. Do we have any doubt? Shall I continue with my topic now? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. See, the second one is. Okay, I, I'm showing you the draw IO. See, these are a particular software. All these softwares are open source or freeware. You just write down draw IO, and uh, I'm just going to be, you know, click my draw IO, click, click. It's an online software, right? 
नो डाउनलोड सॉफ्टली करना है मुझे सी विद इन वन और टू मिनट यू कैन जस्ट हैव अ लुक दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर देखा कितनी जाना है तो आगे से चलना है सी दिस इज द लिंक आई कैन शेयर यू लिंक इन अगैन इट्स अ चैट बॉक्स दे वॉन्ट टू दे वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट माई डायग्राम सो आई वॉन्ट इट्स अ न्यू डायग्राम सी द नंबर ऑफ डायग्राम स्ट्रैटेजीज आर मेंटेनिंग हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ फ्लो चार्ट राइट सो डायरेक्टली मूव टू योर सोर्स सी आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग आई एम अ बिगनर लेवल आई हैव एंड एनी आइडिया सो कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी द फ्लो चार्ट स्ट्रक्चर and say create they just want like where you have to be store your data i just want like it's a g1 or g2 right and i'm just exploring like it's an xml file i want to upload it's and show all and save my document so when you have to be create click over here they give you a hint right and number of diagrams are in front of you see they given the hint like rectangle the given like it's an ellipses the square so each one of the diagram you can just rotate it draw it and if you want to write it so i'm just asking uh, it's a int a comma b comma c according to our problem uh, our pseudo code we just prepare our diagram right and the very th uh, good thing is if we want to show Or if you want to share your diagram with other one, you can directly, you know, online you can share this utility. Now the second thing is I am moving to my unit number two. First I learn, uh, go to to the knowledge, and then after we can move to our PPT. Now this says what is a C language? What type of character set we are using? What are known as identifier? What are known as a keyword? The data type and the qualifiers, the variable name, how to declare a variable, how to initialize a variable. Some constraint are there. Maybe it's an integer having two byte, floating having four byte, character constraint having one byte, right? And the symbolic constraint with other one. Some of the expressions and operators we are learned. Basically, in Python, we have an seven to eight types of operator. In a C, we can say there are four to five types of operator we learn. So this says like assignment, arithmetic, relational, logical, comma or conditional type of casting operator, size of C shorthand, and priority of operator. Some presidencies rules we having like in mathematical terms. So we use uh, our So these are what they they say is like C language character sets are known what. So basically we are using some kind of character set. It is known as alphabets. Maybe it's a number. Maybe it's in special characters. So alphabets including the lower like case and the upper case. Lower case means A to Z lower or A to Z upper. When we are talking about like number system zero to nine are the number some of the special symbols are mentioned in our block. and identifies and keyboard is like suppose that i just declare a word that is t e x t text this is a letter this is a word but still at the time of calling i just write a same spelling that is t e x t but the thing is it's having a upper case or lower case so compiler can understand the thing we just create and the calling process with the same one right so these are known as and specific identifiers the keywords are we are uh, basically we are using sub kind of keyword or it is known as a buzzword so char it representation of for the full form is character but when we declare a variable we use char char and the second one is known as an integer but still at the time of declaration of variable we use int int right this is printf this printf is known as a inline function it's a predefined function on the basis of predefined function we can call a specific value which is stored in printf method right these are long, long union continuous go to these all are others like while means we are just using while when the condition is true only oh, that, yeah yes please yeah uh... 
द कंपाइलर एक्टिविटीज एक्चुअली डन बाय सी प्रोग्रामिंग और पाइथन uh the, the first two block is going to be introduced it's a c language then later on we can move to the python compiler but today's class we just uh, make two program one for the c compiler we are using c compiler and the second program we are mentioning within python compiler so okay. c is working as a compiler right yeah c is a language c is a language a c oh. having a particular compiler right when we are using the interface of c right we uh, c is a platform where we can write our code in a good and systematic uh, manner then we uh, able to get our result but c, c compiler and c interpreter are behaving over there on the and python compiler is a python platform then we have an some sequence of uh, statements are different got it thank okay. you all right all right thank you see these are some uh, kind of you know uh, character set they are known as in keyboard when the program we write we definitely use it but still they are known as in like let's say int it's a data type the type of data having an integer only it means before decimal the real value we can use and the memory size is taken it's in 2 byte only and range is minus 32 Seven six eight two. This one, right? Char having one byte, float having four, and double having eight. Four means before decimal two and after decimal two. Eight means before decimal four and after decimal four. So the memory requirement of the size of data associated with the data type. Now, what are data type? It's a qualifier. So some no, other. How it be minus? Uh, how it be from minus? Because oh. anything would be uh, greater than zero, no? uh the size would be see for uh, for this one i can just uh, make a graph give me a second see as 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 for the start i'm just sharing a uh, give me a minute see i'm just making a graph like each one of the thing are storing in terms of the you know in a process the so computer can have one of these kind of you know uh, it's a uh, pixels uh, or like row wise and column wise we have to store some things right so according to the computer terminology we know we start our calculation from 0 to 1 to 3 and opposite of this we can say 0 minus 1 minus 4 and minus 3 right same here same here so one hostelling i am asking it's a degree right one asking i am just saying as a degree so minus positive and negative both the values are immuted this is the range starting from the positive li and moving to the negative this is the exponent range of our variable shashikant yeah yeah i'm getting it okay all right see uh, i'm just completed the unit number 2 then we make a program first and then we uh, move to the unit number 3 right so each one of the you know blocks are divided into predefined units and according to our counseling session we just uh, just go through our counseling session then a little bit program a little bit program because it's a theory one right so little bit program we are making to understand the concept only the second one is i'm just completed and then moving to the next one see these are variables so variable okay. are what they are known as an identifier so variable in c has an a specific type we can say which determine the size of the layout of the variables in the memory so range of the value that can be stored within uh, within the or uh, within that memory so declaration of the variable in c we already and always use int long float char or string but whereas we are talking about like python there is no any need to be declaration of our variable it's already understand like we are just create a variable having a integer value it automatically store my value into the integer one so these are the format of the variable some special means string means upper quote open and upper quote close char means single quote open and single quote close and they are known as escape sequences two type of 
escape sequences basically we are using otherwise number of escape sequences are available in on the language so basically we use a backslash it means black slash t it give me a jump of five spaces backslash n uh, as a user we always move next line ka first position when we are using backslash n so they are known as an escape sequences now some symbolic constraint and others constraint means which is stick uh, fixed which is static which is you know uh, not change the uh, density or like uh, occurrences right so we just use a hash it is a symbol that is known in c language it is known as pre processor directive define is a keyword right and then the so define max equal 100 if 100 time we have to be you know come uh, print a word or repetition of the task so one time we can declare as a macro so enumeration and uh, macros are using as an hash keyword so this this time they introduce as an enumerators enumerators and enumerated is what it is a type of use to specific or specify the possible value of an object from a predefined list right so type def is type of definition in c language for example they are giving us a program now now we are in a position to understand like what is a program and how to write and how to compile it so before going to be you know uh, touch this 2.1.2 and the assignment statement and just uh, minimize the whole theoretical aspect and i find like it's a c language softwares are available yes i have an a software of c language give me a minute i can open it mm. hey guys this is the time we can make our first program using c language right give me a minute see this is tabo c which is available so if you want to download according to your machine bit architecture it's a 32 bit and 64 bit for the windows right or for the mac you can download from the net it is freely available on it so start i'm just clicking so one particular output is uh, you know uh, it's spread it so this is the interface of c language so all these are known as a menus right so file having sub sub menus it it having sub sub menu search then run and compile these are two particular things which we want and they give a full support like when we write and you know execute it this is our help board each one of the thing are predefined written over here suppose that i am not aware of like what is print if do for us when you press enter see uh, so print if is doing these kind of things right so now i can open c file and new from the f5 you can maximize your screen so i am just right a line it's a void main so we open and closing hello print karte hain um it's a get ch to freezing the monitor and clr scr adsans str so it's a predefined method which is available in a directory or a dll that is known as punio right i can write that line also this is known as a printf in semicolon it is known as a terminator we are moving next line of first position my cursor is blinking over there so first of all i am just putting two types of enter i am just make a hash that is known as a pre processor directive one word you are writing over here it's a uh, include angular open and angular closing means we have to be mention some a uh, specific dll over here so what is the meaning of std s stand for the standard right std stand for the standard i stand for the input and output what is x x is the header file right the first file the first library 
very fine we have to be welcome in our program that is studio.h so stdio.h is a good pronounce pronounce like uh, we pronounce as an stdio studio sometimes we are just but it is not behaving like a good pronunciation so the second file name is conio.h so what is the full form of c i c o n c o n means console io means input which is given by us we are an user we are external person give us specific output right whatever we write over here so now this is a complete program and to this printer we just want to show a particular result i just write group number 1 and group number 2 hello to all this is my hello to all of you welcome uh, to the c language that simple so this time my file haven't any name and all tab here yeah, i am moving to the save as and give a specific file name because each one of the time we can open our existing file and give some changes right so this as today is our june ki 18 so let me let me let's say and extension is c only right press enter now your file is saving go to the compilation so alt f9 you just hit up see one uh, template window in front of us they they just ask me warning is zero error is zero you know, press any key the program is successfully compiled now if we are in a position to execute and get our output on our console window so g1 and g2 hello to all of you this is our uh, this is our message now we are just go through our escape sequences now when we get our response it is like it is like this right g1 and g2 so my cursor is pointing after you but still when we are just giving a slash p give a specific you know tab and closing of the upper code may before this like i have to be mentioned like slash n f2 for the shortcut key to save your document otherwise you move to the alt f and press enter press enter and say control f9 right so see here g1 and g2 is you know uh, having a five cursor space and my cursor is blinking next line ka first position that is your c compiler and they introduce here the addition of two values okay so now int is a data type they already mentioned in our block number 1 this is a comma b comma c these are variables they already shared here a b c but a haven't any value b haven't any value so we are not able to see our output that's why i'm asking a is 6 and suppose that b is 2 and i'm just declare a c here and this time we want like print f i don't want to see this print f i want to see the print method you can support us and please give me the value which is stored in a a is this is my sentence as t i want a proper space right and comma a forward close comma is for concatenation the second line we just want to print f t value which is stored in b is it's a very simple sentence and upper code open and upper code is closing here we just try to print the value of b now c c is performing and storing a particular operation that's we are asking c is a plus b now this is user implementation each one of the time each one of the thing is written by user itself so according to the rule according to the pseudo code we write a code result is a result of a and b is or addition of a and b is so i'm just closing put like print the value of c but still in we are declared here and in c language we just write a format as a specifier so in the having a proper Access specifier is percentile b, right? 
if we are not using this percentile b then no value or no any data is print on this control window so if we want to convert our data on or immute our data on our desktop then definitely we just maintain our percentile d option now again saving and compile and execution now a is 6 b is 2 result is 8 okay as a ip person we can understand this but as a non ip person it is too so we just make our program so i am just writing over here it's a uh, slash n i want like my cursor moving to the next line of first position so again alt f9 c this is the output a is 6 b is 2 and the result is 8 how many loc loc means line of code we are uh, we are mentioning on a C compiler. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right? So, 13 line we are uh, right on the C compiler interface. It is a procedural language. Now, through the Alt Enter, I can minimize the screen now. We write 13 line over here. Then, only 3 lines output is printed on my console window now this time we understand the concept of c language what is interpreter what is compiler can do for us now we are moving slightly moving to a language that is low as well as uh, middle this is c and this time we have an example of a python c two two three things we are doing with our python it's a language uh, we need some software. One is Python. Maybe another one is an Anaconda. Uh, is the exact platform. You can download and install it. It's an open source. It's a freeware. Right? The third thing is, uh, it's a Jupyter notebook. And uh, if you want to run your code, because today we haven't in a position to download, because chapter is not covered right so we just do one thing online compilers are available the second thing is online softwares are also available collab collab is a library you can you know uh, at, uh, you can just uh, make uh, or uh, give a like sign in or sign up properly on uh, to the use of the collab it's a good platform to write your code like python write your code you the using machine learning and ai right so collab pe ho sakta hai or uh, it's a jupiter it's anaconda so i'm just uh, giving you a demonstration this time on an online compiler so i'm moving to the net just write see 13 line we are writing on our c compiler and this is suppose they are the online compiler if softwares are not installed in the machine then you use this one right you just hit up this button the output is printed right the second thing is i have a software in this machine at this time so we move to our particular software now and that software is known as an python right the three triangle is known as an prompt this is known as a terminal window to when this software is installed in your machine first you check just write down in a run window, say CMD and press enter. So one CMD window in front of us, you just write a word that is Python. So my particular cursor is being changed and write a word, it's a print. In Python, the method name is known as built in and generally we use print method to write or print anything. Hello. And welcome to all. This is my simple board, and there is no any need to be write a semicolon. Without semicolon, you can just in a position to get your result. Right? This is your console. And when you want to exit it, just write an exit method. You just come on your doors of problem. Uh, anyone is raising the hand. 
yeah, collab. Yes, collab. Yes. It's a research kind of thing. A good community or social network people are connecting if you use the interface of collab. But I'll request you before going to be use a collab, you use you just install a Python software. It's a python.org is the exact link we are according to your machine interface. You can download and execute it. Now I'm just giving, I'm just taking two to three minutes only to execute a C program. Uh, but still, it is not a C program actually. It is add to number and uh, show a result. So what, how many, what type of effort we are using? Because they are comparing C with Python. So C is what? It's a procedural language. It's a middle level language. And Python is what? It's a high level language. And they have to be combined it. Because they want to give us a proper thoroughly knowledge about what is like languages, what type of operator and sequences we are using in C. And they compare with the high level language, right? So I just write, suppose that A, there is no any need to be a declare your data type for I write like A having 10 and B is again my variable, right? I just want to store two. I am able to print like what value is stored in A. So A is, this is a simple sentence, comma. Is a operator, it is known as concatenation, right? So whatever the value is stored in A, it just read and just print on this one. So if we, if we are talking about like B cast fake, so I'm just little bit like change the variable name and want to print the value P itself. The B is show. Now third thing is I want to uh, show like add. This is again a variable, name is add, and data type is what? It's an integer, right? But in Python, there is no any need to be declared the data type. You directly assign, create a variable and assign some operation. I call A plus B. So the A plus B is stored in our add, and now with the help of print, what's that? Result of uh, it's a error of A uh, and B is slightly a sentence. Slash P. I want like five plus space. So my output is look like code. The output is in a presentable tree. So I want to print the value or operation which is already uh, stored in uh, R. So see the result. Very less line. How many lines we are using? It's one, two, three. Four, five, six. The six line in C compiler, we are using 13 line, and in Python, we are using only six line. See this strategy. So, Python and high level languages are very simple, they are user friendly, and uh, the concept is reusability, and rest of the features are introduced kindly in our blocks. Now, guys, this is all about your unit number two. Do we have any doubt in C or it's a Python? Kindly unmute yourself and at one time I want to take your attendance and request you. Can you please open your camera? If you have any doubt, kindly let me start with a doubt. First we solve our doubt, then we are just moving to our next one. Do we doubt here, please share Kijiaga? Or mujhe bataiye ga ki maam ye line clear nahi hai. I want to repeat the full line again. Or kitni student hai? It's a 39. The screen mein puri kyu nahi aa rahe hai? Or belt kar diya. Or to kar deti hai. Uh, okay. Ma'am, the attendance uh, image recognition ke base pe liya jayega. <laughs> Screenshot mein jo uh, pics dekhenge aur fir analyze karenge ki yes uh, pics available tha ya nahi tha. <laughs> Actually, uh, Shashi, Shashi Khan, hota kya hai? We are like we are the authorized uh, center, right? 
and we have to be submit our record to the RCs and Madan Karis. So they want that student ka image dikhe to zada better hai. That is the only thing. Otherwise, it's a difficult task, hoga, ma'am. कि कोई बैठ के ये देखे कि ये पिक है या एक्चुअल फोटो है। That's why I'm saying कि image recognition होगा कि ये पिक है या एक्चुअल फोटो है। No, image image recognition में तो algorithm right करना होगा। If they find manual task, good picture from your side. One lakh people है जो कि enroll किए I think uh, See, the thing is, if they if they want to retrieve your image, then definitely they can compile your your whole image, like this image recognition, will take Exactly. exactly. Uh, but the thing is, they just want to recognize you, like whether my student is attending the session or not. Right. So. Right. <laughs> manually check karna kisi people ke liye bahut tough task hoga. That means ye hume karaya ja raha hai ki hum attentive rahe. Else I think bahut difficult hoga ya fir image recognition hoga. Haan, nee. Maybe they introduce machine learning, AI, data science in the MCA OL. So if they yeah, want, yeah, एक अच्छा project भी हो सकता है मेरे right. बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल image recognition. It's a language converter, so yes, our tools are coming. Maybe, but we are uh, give our best as per your, as per the student level, as per the faculty level. If they want, they can turn up in terms of like image recognition as well. Yeah, yeah, raw material, my level, बहुत बढ़िया होगा आगे जाके. हो सकता है. अच्छा, मुझे ये बताओ, any doubt, any doubt in this one? Unit number one and unit number two. Please kindly share. अगर कोई भी doubt है, like variable समझ नहीं आया, data type समझ नहीं आया, software का introduction के बारे में, आप बिल्कुल properly, thoroughly, you know, we are here for for you people like we are the mentors. तो आप अपनी जो भी problem है kindly clear कीजिए. हमारे level पे जो भी है academic level पे we will sort it out. I want like एक छोटा सा बात. मैं यहाँ पे कुछ लिखूँगी. Exam they want like कि इसमें से होगा. But as a good student, I want like all of you are in a position to get this one. Is it Dada Yai? Is it Kamnai? Right? So, Bovala Jo mind setup a thought process like if we are just uh, go through our concept. So, please share if you have any doubt. Now, attendance is done. If you want, you can turn off your cameras. From my side, attendance is done. Ma'am, how I know that uh, that what is the uh, uh, my attendance record? Where if I want to see the status of my classes, that whether I my attendance is marked or not. Uh, not for your classes, but uh, we have attended many sessions. Uh, as of now, I want to know what is my percentage uh, of uh, attendance. So is okay. any? Uh, this is we. Uh, within 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 within. Yeah. Uh, see here, if you see my screen, one record session is there right and this link is also shared with ignois itself so each one of the time when they want like at what time we are start the class at how many students are attending their session what type of you know discussion with us so uh what type of uh rajeshree i am just giving you the response give me a second only so uh, the recorded session are already shared with igno right and after some time, if they, you know, update on their portal, you see like how many students are recording sessions are going on. So for that time, you just able to see it. Otherwise, otherwise you do one thing. Accountability is minimum is 75%. Yeah, yeah. to ensure that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes, indeed. So as per the recorded, uh, your each and every movement is recorded by us. No, no, sometimes that's uh, when an instructor says uh, for uh, this opening this window or marking his attendance. So sometimes the uh, people may not be uh, in position to this. Uh, the camera is it. on. The camera or, is on. All right. Uh, see, see, we need, we need. Everybody means your name is showing there and your email yeah, yeah. is showing there, right? It is mentioned like you are thoroughly attend your sessions. 
the, the thing is at the time of attendance we'll request you please open your camera that is the second option if they uh, if they you know recognize you at that level it's good if they want like please show us the attendance so we are taking that proof and we can just uh, send this uh, whole uh, proof to the ignos itself so there are two to three ways they can recognize you right if the camera is on they consider you definitely because recording is mentioning that no i'm i'm saying the different case when the, the sometimes the people may not be at no, that particular may, may not be matlab uh, that uh, in position to uh, turn on his camera or maybe uh, he, he might uh, left for two or three minutes maybe for some reason uh, we need yes. we need we uh, we all are aware like we are just uh, enroll ourselves in nca ol it means we are working we are working people we are professionals so sometimes it's happen uh, it might be happen we are not in a position to open our cameras right so they might be understand this thing they right. know it because they plan to do this particular you know uh, uh, post graduation you know it's a course in a online way so they already understood that thing right right Thanks. so Thank okay all right all right can i start uh, with like one question is uh, here rajeshri ma'am why does and can you work in online compilers see rajeshri sometime like online compiler having in a pre defined c i am just showing the screen first give me a second i can give you the answer give me a minute only uh <sighs> okay is my screen is shared presented now uh nikita are you sharing your screen nikita are you sharing your screen is my screen is shared see suppose that this yes. is a online compiler okay thank you this is a online compiler okay all right okay okay rajeshri see this is a online compiler in one compiler they might produce it's a c it's a c++ it's a java it's a c hash it's a dot net it's a js it's a db so sometime the particular dll are not finding that's why specific classes like a meth dot h string dot h are not working well right so that is the main reason the online compiler doesn't understand the thing like konyo kya kar raha hai maths dot h kya kar raha hai string dot h kya kar raha hai right so for that purpose if we are just making a program as an intermediate or a professional level right at for the beginner level each one of the thing is understood by online compiler but they are known as a uh, you know it's a plugin nowadays we are asking they are known as a plugin so we do need to be install the software in our machine because we are, we are uh, we are upgrade our level in uh, the intermediate to the profession or the expert one right so specifically the libraries are installed in our machine that is the main reason like online compiler doesn't understand our konio uh, or math or like these things is is the concept is clear is the query is solved okay all right now the thing is i am okay okay thank you very much clear thank thank you very much see now uh, we are moving to the you know you need to we are discussed here so they just know like arithmetic uh, expressions relational arithmetic means the combination of plus minus multiplication division modulus and all relational means we just want to show like what type of relation so these are known as an arithmetic operations and the second thing is they introduced in our block the presidency's rules later on we can perform and we can write our 
compile our program as well. We just write here, it's a relational operator C. Is equal, equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than, equal, less than, equal. So X is, is equal, equal to Y. For example, I am just opening the Python interface and uh, I am already declared a variable that A is 10 or B is 2. Right? I want like if A is, is equal, equal to B, then definitely it gives me a result that is false because 10 is not is equal, equal to 2. Now, next thing is X is not equal to Y. So I'm just checking the example of A and B. So I just write A is not equal to B. My answer is true. A is 10, B is 2. So 10 is not equal to B. So according to our operator, we get a specific output on our platform, whether it's a C, whether it's a, you know, it's a um, Java or .NET or a Python, right? So they introduce a C program. They want like stdio.h or conio.h, main method A and B. They just want like A and B. Okay, all right. They introduce runtime program. All right. Okay. See, this is the second method they introduce in our blog. They just write scan f. Scan f having a, a specific meaning, scanning the function, right? Percentile d, percentile d two times. It means first percentile D for uh, occupy the value of uh, A. The second percentile is uh, available or occupy the value of B, right? And this is the ampersand symbol. Ampersand symbol means we are not assigning a value to A or B. Otherwise, A having already 10 and B having already B. And it is depend on person to person. I am not interested like Every time when I call A, it brings me 10. So at a runtime, right, user given value or runtime value. So we are using M% percent of A or M% percent of B, right? So they just give a specific condition if and else. Uh, it means if uh, we have uh, two conditions, we are just able to print our output like this. Otherwise, we are moving to the else part. It means in if condition, this is a condition. This is a, you know, a statement. We just write like if you and me are available here, the theory class must be going on. If suppose that you all are available and uh, because of some reason I am not uh, able to take your class, it means the cursor moving to the else one. So specifically in if condition we are check only one condition the second condition check on the behalf of first one right that is if and else see logical means we have to be make logical and or or not um okay iske liye to table banana padega mm. mm. See, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, make a graph first. Uh, see, this is uh, the uh, diagram. This is kind of diagram which I'm making here. Just understand like what I am going to be introduced. I'm introducing here three types of, uh, you know, statement or the operator. Please, so, uh, बन जाए तो अच्छा है लाइन थोड़ा बहुत टेढ़ा मेढ़ा होगा मेरा हां मेरी ड्राइंग अच्छी नहीं है मैम वन थिंग सी सी हाउ मच इट इज how much it is important in uh, any area like uh, we have java we have c++ we have python we have c so uh, they only given us C and instead of C++ or something else. So why C, C is too much important? C. The very first language in our computer's world, a C is introduced in the year like 1970s to 72. Right? One language is known as machine language, that is assembly. The second language is our, it's a C language. 
it is the father of all the languages each one of the language having the concept of c language the function the operators the standard the approaches right so in better way if we understand the concept of c language then might be possible we are jumping in oops concept we are jumping in high level languages right so c is the base language that's why they introduce c language in our course material first because in c if we understand the strategy of c how to write how to compile what are the approach we are following right then uh, we are in a position to move up up uh, uh, ourselves in our uh, up one step more like it's in c++ so c++ is the c++ upgradation of c so the base thing is c only right so we are they are comparing c with python they are comparing with c with java they are comparing c with dot net so c ka hi processor har language mein milne wala hai whether it's in c++ kyunki c++ develop we develop c++ it's okay but still c++ is also depend on c language got it okay great thank you all right okay see um here is um yes okay logical operator batana tha oh 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 logical operator fatafat -fat batao see suppose that now we are in a position to understand ki operator kya hai operand kya hai and computer is very smart computer says no i'm 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 a smart guy i'm not able to understand like your uh, your very big equation and all i just understand the computer's base base is what base is 2 and 2 means it is a combination of zeros or one we can say it is a combination of true or false so true means one and false means zero right so in mathematical terms when we write our mathematical terms so the terms are computer having a particular base i just write our the whole thing again the base is 2 and math says everything start with the zeros ones tens hundred thousand and so on right so 2 to the power 0 means always one 2 to the power 1 means always two 2 to the power 2 means always four it means we start a journey from here so 2 is the uh, base and 2 is the combination right so computer can have two words 1 plus 1 2 right so i'm taking like a my first variable name is a and second variable name is b because computer just keeping all thing in terms of variable only right her statement kis mein jayega variable mein ab four ka statement hai to four se above to ja hi nahi sakte 2 to the power 3 is 8 16 32 bit and so on so little bit down and what the computer can uh, store uh, store our instruction in terms of zeros and ones so pairing ban gaya 2 and 1 ka So, for example, two times zero and two times one. Suppose that I am talking about मैं किसी का नाम ले रही हूँ सब अब सम हो तो ना कि मैंने किसी और का भी नाम ले लिया. I just say uh, Nikita. It's a Nikita, right? Nikita और मेरे को computer organization कुछ distribute कर रहा है. Distribute is what? They just give us some chocolates. एक work दे रहा है और एक कोई cashew nut का chocolate मिल रहा है. दोनों को बराबर चाहिए. And B having the like zero one. तो B कहता है कि ठीक है मुझे समझौता करना पड़ेगा भाई जीरो वन जीरो वन का ही कॉन्सेप्ट है क्योंकि वन टू बिलो क्या है टू और वन का कॉम्बिनेशन सो A के पास भी टू टाइम जीरो टू टाइम वन B के पास भी टू टाइम जीरो एंड टू टाइम वन दिस इज नोन एज ए किंग सो इफ सी पी यू रीड आर इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल इन अल्दी मेनर देन डेफिनेटली आउटपुट इज कम ऑन दी कंजोल एंड दैट इज एक्यूरेट सो कंप्यूटर गिव आर रिजल्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्यूरेसी right now the first operation is written in our block that is the operation which are having the concept of and the second one the concept having it's a or the third one the concept having it's a not and they are known what they are known as an operator abhi humne padha so a and b is what in c in c++ in java in dot net in python in android each and every where the operator having the same standard not of a and not of b right agar zarurat padegi to we'll make a program but still this is the theory session so first of all i am just completely 
you know give a thoroughly um, instruction related with this operator if you learn your operator and the loops concept very well then definitely we can upgrade ourselves in any of the areas whether it's an ai whether it's an ml whether it's an uh, java dot and python and dot right so a and b the so specifically we have to be focused one particular condition if and only if when both the conditions are true then we put t or one at the voice box the second one is or if and only if any one condition is true then we put one or true otherwise it's false and not means always negation in words karna hai reverse kar dijiye theek hai complement nikal dijiye both are false i'm just putting a new color let it be blue both are zero both are false any one value is true no any one value is true no but both the conditions are true we we'll put one a or b so these are an input both are zero no any one condition is true or means any one condition is true any one condition is true both are true it's okay not means complement so a ka complement kar do iska theek hai zero is converted to one it's one it's zero it's zero b ka complement ho jayega zero is converted to one zero one and zero this is known as a truth table If you are talking about like gates and logic circuit, so बहुत आसान है A और B का input बनाओ. This is A, this is B, and one D shape is known as an logic circuit. और जो result emute हो जाएगा यहाँ से, you already say A and B का data. Same with the you know or the circuit. The circuit is behaving like ये. ठीक है? And not का बना रहे हो, तो थोड़ा सा एक single input होगा और एक single output आ जाएगा. this is all about your operator right so and means both the conditions are true or means any one condition is true and uh, not means negation kar do bilkul negate kar do uska complement nikal do theek hai they are giving yes see here a and b x they are taking a variable name as an x and y i am taking it of the key so this is 000 and 0001 right x or y or the these five symbol is known as an operator ye aapka operator hai to aap use karoge not ka matlab hai not not bhi likh sakte hain aap aur uh, extra symbol bhi laga sakte hain some presidency rules are there it's associativity rule jo ki right to left hai comma conditional ke liye liya jata hai they are known as an ternary operators and some specific you know conditions are there cast operator mane डबल को कन्वर्ट इन टू दी इंट इंट को कन्वर्ट इन टू दी यू नो फ्लोट एन ऑल साइज ऑफ ए कम्प्लीट ऑब्जेक्ट दे देता है ओपन करेगा कि नहीं ये क्या खुल गया आई डोंट नो सी लैंग्वेज का कंपाइलर ही बोल रहे हैं बढ़िया ये है ना सी अच्छा सी को देख लेते हैं सी का एक छोटा सा लिख लेते हैं साइज ऑफ क्या करता है देखो आई जस्ट राइट साइज ऑफ ही लिख देते हैं ना ओ माय गॉड प्रिंट एफ साइज ऑफ इज आर स्टेटमेंट कॉमा आई वांट टू प्रिंट ए साइज ऑफ इसका सपोज दैट इंट का मुझे तो पता ही नहीं इंट का साइज क्या है लेट्स चेक दिस इज साइज ऑफ इंट बट स्टिल आई एम नॉट यूजिंग पर्सेंटाइल डी दिस इज माय मिस्टेक राइट एंड दे वोंट गिव मी देन अ एरर बिकॉज इट्स ऑनलाइन सो दिस टाइम दे वांट लाइक साइज ऑफ एस4 राइट सो साइज ऑफ इंट एंड से सपोज दैट इफ वी जस्ट फाइंड आउट द साइज ऑफ इट्स का कैर So I have to be little bit change percentage. See, नहीं होगा percentage C हो जाएगा. So the size of car is you know one. Compile कर लो दोबारा इसको. Clear. So size of car, size of float. इस तरीके से हम online compiler की uh, discussion करते हैं. We are generally use size of right. So they are known as in size of operators. in c we are using size of otherwise there is no any need so they are known as an uh, you know assignments and the priority of operator the presidency is first high priority is in the bodmas 
the plus plus then uh, divide and modulo so these are the precedences of the operator which they given us at the time of practical we can thoroughly uh, you know practice them out but these are the theory session so only one and two program at this time we are just go through it they introduce a book like c language ke liye tata magra hill is good uh, the complete reference for the c is good and the python ke liye they just write or relays books are two nice book they have a good uh, so i am just stop my sharing uh, so today is itself we are just covering our two units so uh, guys now you can unmute if you have any doubt and ask your query आज की क्लास के लिए जितने भी कंसेप्ट हुए हैं मैं कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि मैं दोनों ही माध्यम में आपको पढ़ाऊँ हिंदी में भी बोलूँ मैं इंग्लिश में भी बोलूँ क्योंकि मुझे मालूम है ऑडियंस जो दोनों को समझ पाएगी बहुत अच्छा है जो कोई एक पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज को समझ पा रही है मैं उनके लिए उसकी तरीके से इंटरप्रेट कर रही हूँ नाउ दिस इज योर टर्न डू यू हैव एनी डाउट इन सेशन प्रोग्रामाइज में अगर मैं जाता हूँ तो आपका जिस तरह से स्क्रीन दिखता है जहाँ पे के कई सारे लैंग्वेज को हम सेलेक्ट करके चेंज कर सकते हैं अपने कोड या लिख सकते हैं उस तरह का इसमें मैंने जो खोला उसमें है ही नहीं वो केवल कोर्स से रिलेटेड बता रहा है और उस कोर्स में जंप करा दे रहा है तो एक्चुअली इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड वॉट यूज स्क्रीन मैं इसीलिए आपको सिर्फ सी से और पाइथन से ही इंट्रोड्यूस कराऊंगी देखो आप ही वो स्क्रीन नहीं आ रहा मैम वो स्क्रीन चाहिए मुझे जिसमें कि हमें कई कई सारे लैंग्वेजेस भी देख क्योंकि जावा में भी हमें पढ़ाई हो रही है राइट एंड बहुत अच्छा इंटरफेस है अब मैं आपको थोड़ा सा शेयर करूंगी क्योंकि आज मैं लेट हो गई आई एम नॉट गिविंग माई इंट्रोडक्शन this said dr meeta i am just recently completed my phd right so i have an 16 to 17 years of experience so my first forte is dot net when i am doing my n c through igno and i am gnit student as well so tab mujhe dot net acche se aata tha baad mein the, the market value is rise up and i am just uh, doing my java for some pune fsc dac so mera ascent usme bahut acha ho gaya I want to meet a Java ही मिलता इंटरफेस में बट दे इंट्रोड्यूस मी विद टॉपिक लाइक ऑटोमेटिक सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग यूजिंग नॉवल एल्गोरिदम सो डेटा माइनिंग का ये सारा कॉन्सेप्ट आया तो सिक्स टू सिक्स ईयर्स आई एम जस्ट कंट्रोल माई फाइथन तो जब आप आई टी लाइन में आते हो ना अगर एक स्टैंडर्ड माइंड में मेकअप हो जाता है तो क्रियोसिटी इतनी आ जाती है कि प्लेटफॉर्म टू प्लेटफॉर्म चेंजिंग करना बहुत अच्छा होता है एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू मेक अ यू नो साइन इन इन योर गिटअप एंड टेक दी कोडिंग वहां से लो और उसके कंसेप्ट को क्लियर करके फ्री शेयर करो तो आपका ना एक जो एक माइंड सेटअप होता है टू वर्ड्स कोडिंग वो अट्रैक्टिव भी हो जाता है और वो कॉन्सेप्ट भी अच्छे हो जाते हैं तो मेरा थोड़ा ऐसा है मेरे को थोड़ा सा अच्छा लगता है कि रिसर्च में भी रहना और डेवलपमेंट में भी रहना इसलिए मैं हर तरीके से चाहती हूँ कि नॉलेज आ जाए आपसे बस और इसके अलावा मेरा कोई वो नहीं है बस मैं चाहती हूँ कि आप सबके अंदर वो इंटरेस्ट आ जाए और आप बहुत स्मूथली एन सी ओ एल को क्लियर करें एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज सो इफ यू म्यूटिंग मीन्स नो क्वेश्चन म्यूटिंग दो तरीके से होती है Ma'am, the PPT you were referring are not available. Dear, it was uh, available over there. You do one thing. You have to be log in and you just write a query. I am just giving you the address. See if actually uh, we are giving you the credential. Do do one thing. Give me a second only. I am just giving you the. Uh, it's a. Uh, you have to be right. Us. We are, uh, we are definitely do this thing. So do we are very query at the dot com. Dot com. See, these are two particular IDs. We just write Anjali. I am register myself on CFT edu dot in, but the course is not available or course are not showing on my panel. So they get activated. 
वो उसी समय उसको एक्टिवेट करेंगे विद इन वो चाहे दो घंटा लें चाहे चार घंटा लें और वो एक्टिवेट हो जाएगा राइट तो दीज आर टू पर्टिकुलर थिंग प्लीज आप इस पे लिख दीजिए क्वेरी पे लिखोगे हमें पता चलेगा मैं भी जाके एक्टिवेट करने के लिए आगे बोल पाऊंगी मैम लास्ट क्वेश्चन असाइनमेंट सबमिशन लास्ट डेट इज जितने भी ऑफिशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टास्क है दे मेंटेन बाय एन सी ओ एल पोर्टल तो जो वहाँ की मेल्स हैं उनको यूज करके आपको उसको मेंटेन करना है पोर्टल पे नोटिफिकेशन दे देखना है एंड आपने उसको प्रोसेस पे लाना है Ma'am, it was fifteenth uh, of June, but uh, still the assignment is submitting to the same portal. So I uh, don't understand what is going on. Oh, all right. You, uh, you, uh, see, uh, as per the university recommendation, the thing is like whatever the first date is mentioning on our portal, please follow that. As a, as a, I am also the student. I am the ex student of Ikno. So I'm just sharing this one. So if the portal is open, it's a very good thing. They can accept it. They are accepting it. It's a very good thing. They are giving a good favor. They are giving a favor. Accept it. But the first thing, whatever the mentioned post date is, you can submit your task completely. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so uh, guys uh, uh, i'm requesting you once more time like i have an another class so can i can i leave this session now sure man. okay thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much we'll meet on coming session and uh, definitely with a doubt if we have an a doubt kindly share the doubt with us bye bye and take care of all of you